Hank and Carrie, today's celebrity historical guest is a decorated Japanese World War II veteran. He hailed from Wakayama, Japan, but spent much of his life on an island in the Philippines. He was skilled in kendo and other forms of armed combat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hiru Anoda. (laughs) 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 Applause, applause. Okay, well, Mr. Anoda, uh, this is very difficult for me to admit, but I just found out just days before the show was to air, that you died in January of this year. I'm, I'm so sorry. Meh. <laughs> well, so how is your English, Mr. Onoda? I know play poor. I, I'm sorry, poor? Uh, poor uh, beers. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So, okay, all right, gotcha. So English, no good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, well I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure we could work around that, uh, uh, Mr. Renota. Everyone here is anxious to know what your greatest accomplishment is. I winner of international hide and seek championships, <laughs> twenty eight year in a row. Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! So when, when did you begin hiding? January nineteen forty five. And and when did and when were you found? I was found on March 9th, nineteen seventy four. Wait, 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 wait. You were a soldier in the Japanese army and you held out for almost thirty years? Okay, that's longer than the Simpsons have been on the air. As long as I on the island, Japan own it. What now, now who found you? Suzuki. Oh, the violin teacher? No, no. He actually uh, courage uh, drop out a hippie. hippie. Hey. <laughs> well, that's well, that's one way to end a conflict. Uh, get a whiff of a college dropout hippie, and you lay down your arms. Uh, I should have uh, have shot him. I had the bullets. Oh. Well, now, now, didn't you get suspicious after a number of years and wonder if the Second World War was over? Uh, you see, no newspaper delivery to tent. Even if I saw a newspaper declaring end of war, I would believe it to be American propaganda. Uh, that's a good uh, point. I see. Yeah, well, well, you would think that the story of a guy that did the same thing every day for 30 years with no results would be boring. But your book, No Surrender, My 30-Year War, is excellent. And we'll talk about it a little bit more in the, uh, later in the program. But for now, it is time for... When he was a young man, he never thought he'd see people stand in line to see the boy king. All right. All right. Well, uh, okay, this week, Hank and I had a conversation several weeks ago. And I asked him the question, so what exactly is it that you specialize in? And one of the things he told me is constitutional law. (laughs) Did I say that? You did say that. You said constitutional law. (laughs) I I must have been just joking. (laughs) (laughs) No, actually. (laughs) Okay. Well, well, and you talked about a few other things, but that was the one that, because I wrote it down on a piece of paper somewhere, and I wasn't, and that's the one I remembered. So guess which one I chose. Okay. All, All right. right. Are you sure it's not the one that, okay, never mind. <laughs> no, it's not that one. All right. Oh. All right. So are you ready? Sure. All right. Question number one. Uh, how old do you have to be to become president of the United States? 30, 35, 25, or 40? I know this one because uh, it's an ancient Chinese secret, but I, I don't say who, <laughs> to, who told me. It's a 35. Okay. Uh, I believe the senator has to be 35 and the president can be 30. Actually, it's 35. Oh, what do you know? Okay. The Japanese right. dude who was on an island. <laughs> 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 there you I, I go. Thought, okay. I always thought that the president was somewhere in between that, but okay. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know why, but I thought it was 42. Maybe I just got 42. Hit, well, I think I had Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah, on the brain. Hitchhiker's Guide, yes. Mm. All right. So, what power is not given to the Congress? Declare war, coin money. Borrow money on U.S. credit, or make or write treaties. Mr. Noda, 
Okay. <laughs> This is what power is not given to Congress. Oh, who, are you sure you were talking to me? <laughs> I, I, I remember saying early Christian history, and I remember something about, you know, American Revolution and stuff. But oh, I'm going to definitely hit you up for I, martyrs I don't next re- month. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we're going to talk martyrs in uh, April. Oh, man. Uh, yes, I have to agree with Mr. Onoda. Actually, it's make or write treaties. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God bless. Okay. Okay. All right. I still claim that I didn't say what you think I said, but okay. <laughs> or maybe I was just thinking. I don't know. All right. So next question. Who did not sign the Constitution? Alexander Hamilton, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, or George Washington? I did not sign it either. I, I'm not a choice on your, your question. Oh, okay. So, oh. so Mr. Anoda? I did not sign it. Okay. Uh, final answer? To <laughs> say, oh, Benjamin Franklin. Okay. Uh, it was uh, Adams, John Adams. Yes, you got one. Yeah. yeah. That's it. John Adams did not sign the Constitution. Okay. All right. So, last question. Okay. All right. I thought this one would be a fun one. All right. The first three articles dealt with the three branches. So you're still with me on that? Yes. Okay, and just making sure. I know know that much. (laughs) All right. So first three articles dealt with the three branches. Name them in order. What was Article (laughs) 1, 2, and 3? Oh, man. (laughs) Mr. Onona? (laughs) I have no idea. No, 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 no answer. Okay, so, I I do believe Article One is about the legislature. The, Article Two is about the president, and then, then the third is about the judiciary. You got it. Okay. You got it. Yes. Hey. Yeah. And here's bonus question. Here's bonus question. Which one was the longest? Which one was the longest? Mm-hmm. Um. Well, the let's see. I'm just uh, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say uh, the, the one about the presidency. Actually, it was the legislative. Legislative. Legis- yeah. That's what makes sense. Right. But, you know, <laughs> but I figured that was like a, you know, right. trick question. And the uh, I didn't measure, I didn't count the words when I read it. Right. And the executive branch. So you're correct. The legislative branch was the first one and it was the longest. The second one was the executive branch. And actually, it was about the president and the vice president. Yeah. So which you were probably what you meant. And then, of course, the third one was the judicial. Sure. So, all right. Cool. You did really, you did better than I you think you were going to. I got 50%. I still failed. Yay. <laughs> oh, 